we are going to study about the problem involving the three groups. So first I will explain the concept then I will go to the problem. So in the three groups we have to put a three circles like this. This is A and this is B and the last one is C. So we have a diagram like this. Okay. And here these regions are very very important. This region I have marked with number 1. This is 2, 3, 4 and this region that is only this much shape which I have marked in the green color only this much shape. Okay. This is 4. Like this on the other side also I can mark that is only this much. You understood? So this is 5. And here for a change I will shade and show you that region that is like this. The shaded region with this uh, rose color represent the region. Uh, actually, I have repeated the value. So, 4. Let me take this as 5, 6. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then uh, 5. Then the next one is 6. Then we have this rose region as 7. I will write it here 7. So, these are the different region we have. So, why I have listed all the numbers? The name, name of each region is very important. Number 1 is nothing but all the 3. All the 3. That is, it represents A, B and C. So, these words are very important. When the problem comes, you have to fill the Venn diagram with the values. So, understand the region clearly. Now, coming to is nothing but A and C but not B. So, I will do one thing. Uh, 2 and the region 1 both combined together is nothing but both A and C. Okay, there is a difference between combined 2 and 1 and only 2. The 2 is nothing but this is both A and C but not B. This point you have to make very clear if any doubt is there, just try to understand it properly. There is a difference between the 2 and 1 taken together and 2. I will show you again here. See, we already have 3 circles like this. Isn't it? Suppose if I take this region, uh, suppose this is A, B and C. If I take this entire thing which I have shaded here, this is nothing but both A and C. Okay, it is both A and C. But you take this diagram, you have A, B and C like this. Okay, but now I am shading only this part. There is a difference. This is nothing but both A and C but not B. Because a portion from this side is a part of a B also. Isn't it? So, if I take everything, it is both A and B. If I take only this, this is nothing but A and C but not B. So, this is A and C. This is A and C but not B. Okay. So, I have written the region here. The same thing you can tell which I am not going to list here. Just I am going to tell in word. You can write it in a notebook. So, you can answer me now. What is this combined region of 3 and 1 called? It is nothing but both A and B. Now, what is the region 3 alone is called? It is nothing but A and B but not C. In the same way, let us do the combined 1 and 4. What is combined 1 and 4? It is nothing but B and C. But if I take only this 4, it is nothing but B and C but not A. Okay. So, just you write all the thing here. It is very important because using this only we are going to solve the next problem. Okay, so there is one simple question. Again in uh, the year uh, 1992 uh, preliminary exam. But in the later year also these type of questions are repeated. Just for explanation purpose I have selected this question. Okay, so don't think that this is not the pattern of the questions which is appearing. And this is a keep appearing. I have taken it just for the explanation purpose. And you can find later these type of many questions. Okay, now coming to the problem. They say... The triangle, square and circle represents the urban, hard working and educated. So, they put on triangle, they say that represents the urban. 
and they have put on square and they say it is hard working and they have put an uh, circle they say it is educated okay and the diagram is given i will put the diagram here see they put a uh, triangle like this then they put a square like this and they have also put a circle like this okay see actually they simply confusing us this is exactly same as this okay so what are the concept we saw before is applicable just instead of the circle they put on triangle and uh, square but still the concept is going to be same and inside they have marked this region as 1 and this region as 2 and this region as 3 and this region as 4 and this region as 5 and uh, this one as 6 and this one as 7 okay and the question is among this uh, which one of the following area marked from 1 to 8 mm, which one of the which one of the areas marked 1 to 8 sorry 1 to 7 is represented by listen clearly urban educated who are not hard working urban educated who are not hard working so the options are uh, number two then options b is one then option c is number four then option d is number three okay so they want the urban educated who are not hard working so what will happen is they say this is urban this tri uh, triangle is urban and uh, this is hard working and this is educated they want the urban educated so where the urban and educated are meeting it is this part urban and educated are meeting actually here okay if they would have asked simply urban and educated we have to say it is a region 3 and 4 but the question also says urban and educated who are not hard working it means urban and educated but not hard working in the sense it is not this part this part is not included you understood the point so urban and educated who are not hard working it means it is only this region 4 so it is exactly according to the concept which I discussed here. Just to see, I told A and C, then I told A and C but not B. So it is same. So instead of three circle, they put on rectangle, sorry, on square and triangle. So it is exactly the same concept. So we come to know it is a region 4. So the region 4 present is as a third option. Okay. So I hope the concepts are clear and you can solve a lot of problem based on this. You can see the past year question paper. Every year one or two question paper every year one or two question based on this concept is there and it is very easy to solve also okay fine